Day zero. One city and a record-breaking drought. How does a city come close to running out of water? Early in 2018, Cape Tonians panicked at the prospect of day zero, the day when taps would run dry and they would have to queue for water rations. Looking back, it's important to understand what happened and what lessons were learned in adapting to a climate crisis at municipal level. The city of Cape Town had made plans for an increase in water demands, but never anticipated such a three-year-long, one-in-a-century event. Dams provide the city's water, so restricting water consumption was an essential first step. As day zero approached, attempts were made to supplement water supplies with groundwater, desalination and recycling. While city managers made significant efforts to avert a crisis, it soon became clear that water from these new sources wouldn't become available fast enough. Residents also had to urgently reduce their water usage, but they needed direction. The city's mayor created a team of key players, extending responsibility for the crisis to the entire city management, instead of leaving it as the sole responsibility of the water department alone. The city-wide scale of the problem demanded responses from other players. For example, input from national government was needed on water restrictions, but this was slow and insufficient. Officials across a range of departments had to work together in ways they hadn't before and answer citizens' needs and queries. Cape Town's residents were often in the dark about details on restrictions and other plans. But because things were changing so quickly, the city was hesitant to share information on their response. When the drought finally broke, it seemed that Cape Town did have the capacity to collectively face such an enormous crisis. Within two years, citizens halved their water consumption and ultimately, the city's water supply was not cut. Day zero may have been called off, but it continues to be a reminder that many poorer Cape Tonians live in a perpetual state of scarcity, collecting water from standpipes and sharing communal toilets. The city needs new capacities of leadership, a better understanding of climate change scenarios and more attention to future planning. Water was previously seen as being dependent on physical infrastructure. It is now clear that it needs to be seen as a governance issue, an economic issue and a social issue too.